God, what was this guy thinking? Is he stupid? Good God, man. Joe, speak to me, Joe. Oh my God. What the fuck were you thinking? 21 hours? Come on, man. You're better than that. You need some Gatorade and some beef jerky. I'll be back. I'll be back. Don't move. Don't move. Why, God, why? No, not God! <laughs> Demon Joe! This is where you've been! That's right, Joe! <laughs> it's taken me three long years of incantations and sacrifices, but I have finally done it! I have created the ultimate shitty game! And not even corporate commander could come up with such a fantastic- And review this game. I couldn't let it escape my rage. You think you were gonna get away? Chew, come here. You ain't getting away. Right off the bat, this fucking game makes a terrible first impression. You were awkwardly thrown into a turret segment. without any rhyme or reason and suddenly you're in a terrible quick time event brawl. Again, with no explanation. 
Then you're driving your floaty ass motorcycle in a race reminiscent of big ribs or mother truckers, unable to do anything more than quick time events as enemies materialize from thin air from the sides to fight you and then fly off in random directions exploding for no fucking reason! What the fuck was that? It's like the game is intentionally trying to get you to absolutely hate its fucking guts. In the opening sequence. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Swear to God. I'd rather be polishing boots than sit through this crap. But it gets worse. Much worse. Never has a game earned its namesake like Ride to Fucking Hell has. The retribution of my fist into the developers' faces. The poorly written story follows Jake Conway, or badass biker number one, who has recently returned from his Vietnam War to his uncle and his little brother. Damn, Mikey. Mac wasn't kidding. You've gotten to be one tall sack of shit. Ah, shut up. You look the same too, Jake. But face is, is kind of weird. Ugh. The game like makes an attempt to have you bond with him as you ride on the open road together in sequences so poor you'd swear you were playing an early alpha. The graphics, muddy, low res, angular, and looking like something straight off an early Xbox One. One! As in the original. All is horrid, I mean, well, until a bunch of rival bikers show up to kill you both. Skinny little old baby cow, ain't he? <laughs> you ever slice an ear off of a baby cow? They scream and scream. It's funny. If you hadn't noticed by now, the voice acting in this game is some of the worst I've ever fucking experienced. Sugisuki, <laughs> oh wow. No, no, scratch that. It is the worst fucking voice acting ever. You rotten son of a bitch. You don't know the half of it. Even the worst dub job in Japanese games I played have more emotion and believability than the sorry excuse for voiceovers here. I don't know what is happening. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what is happening. It is small began. The whole world is exposed. And so we just running, I'm running very fast. It's as if all the lines were recorded in the bathroom of the studio by unpaid interns. It's funny. Looks like you've been summoned, boy. Come on home. Hey! Stop! Oh, my bad, just taking a shit! In fact, you will immediately notice that it's not just the voice acting, but nearly all the sound design in the game. When you fuck up the bike sound effects in your goddamn biker game, you know you done fucked it up! Get lost! Why didn't you stick up for me? Jesus, Mike. I've been gone, okay? I don't know what the hell's going on between you and Matt. You're 
different, Jake. It's literally the same tone once you hit 40 miles per hour, and you can't hear shit when they talk. I can't hear- what? I, I, I can't hear you! Our bikes! The sound of our bikes, they suck ass! You're different, Jake. Huh? I said our game sucks ass! So many other sounds in the game are just straight up missing. The cutscenes are eerily quiet because of it. Don't you move now, Cherry Pie. Time to put that fucking piece down, cowboy. And many things in the game that should have sounds, like slamming into things when you're driving, or cars driving by in the distance, have no sound whatsoever. And the sounds that are there sound like they've come from a generic library, or worse. Hell, I can even go to freesound.org and find superior clips than what's in this fucking game. So anyway, after your brother is murdered, and you are shot and left for dead, it's time to magically reappear with no explanation and go out for your revenge. Over the course of 37 broken, boring, repetitive, mind-numbingly dull missions. Jake, what the hell happened? Ah! Ah! No! Originally pegged for release in 2009, this thing has been in development since 2008, the Ride to Hell series. It's been cancelled, pushed back, revived numerous times, and it should have stayed fucking cancelled. The game was supposed to be an open world biker game in the backdrop of the 1960s. You could explore the open world in the western part of the United States, working your way through the ranks of a tough motorcycle gang. That sounds cool! Only what we got here is an aborted, desperately cobbled together pretender. It's like a dead fucking carcass taped back together and presented to us as if it was still alive. That's it. I've had it with this dump! Our pets' heads are falling off! The worst fucking part is they think they can make a franchise out of this. Yeah. In May 28, 2013, Deep Silver was quoted as saying, It's not something that everyone will like. Definitely not. We're gonna have people e who even hate it. But we know we're gonna have a lot of fans as well. A lot of people will love it. A lot of people will laugh. It's gonna be an exciting thing. No! No, it's fucking not! Nobody's laughing! <laughs> yeah! The series is launching as three separate titles for iOS, console download, and as full console and window PC releases. The publisher can branch out to new demographics. Don't you fucking dare. Do you hear me? Don't you even try it. No. No. Now game, let me explain to you why. This sucks. Gameplay breaks down into one of two things. Either fighting shooting sections in large, mostly static and empty area levels, or driving slash racing. Only you don't so much drive as you do slide all around the place, as every damn vehicle in the game feels like it's on a goddamn skating ring, floating, lack, lacking any weight or impact. careen off the roads for no fucking reason to their deaths, triggering the same damn explosion sound every fucking time. You couldn't 
pay for two explosion sounds in your whole piece of shit game? And you actually have the audacity to ask for 30 bucks? More than twice the amount of some of the best fucking arcade games? Are you crazy? This is criminal. Your boost is idiotically mapped to the forward stick. So you will constantly accidentally fire it off at the worst times, causing you to go bouncing off the walls like rubber. But be careful as you aren't allowed to go backwards. That's right, no going backwards. Likely, if you slam, end up slamming into something hilariously, or you get turned around, you're gonna fade out and you'll be placed back on the track a ways up. Have that happen too many times, and you will be placed on the track only to fly off to the right and explode. 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 It's the whole game! For no reason! <laughs> I feel your anger! <laughs> Soon it will give way to desperation, <laughs> and you will be no more. <laughs> oh, you want me to keep going? Oh, I'll keep going. Gameplay sections aren't much better. The camera is so herky-jerky, and your character so stiff that it's difficult to aim down the sights at anything. There are a total of two types of enemies in this game. Charging dudes and idiot dudes who find it hard to use cover. Either shooting through the walls or taking cover in the wrong fucking direction. Melee guys charge you out in the open like morons. Or everyone soaks up bullets like BBs. Apparently this biker gang has hired a few Jasons from hell. Melee attacks in the game are a joke. It's two buttons. There are no real combos, just a sad impersonation of Batman's system. Press Y when somebody's about to hit you in the back of the head, but you should allow them to. Anything but headshots in this game are horribly ineffective. You have your choice between 15 body shots, multiple clips, meleeing the guy for 15 minutes, or go for a single headshot. Which one are you gonna choose? As a result though, I've gotten pretty good at headshots. Sort of like being thrown into a swimming pool when you don't know how to swim and it's this same sort of learning under desperation that I've gotten pretty good at headshots. Oh yeah, don't fuck with Angry Joe when he's so fucking tired of playing this damn game. I'm rather surprised this game even has destructible cover. Well, sorta. You almost never notice it or see it because it pretty much does nothing. Racing sections cannot be completed until you get to a certain point, so there's no sense of urgency or challenge. You just race until the game stops the race. If you're still on your bike, you win! If you're extra lucky, the game will decide to combine these two modes into the worst driving and shooting mechanic ever. You will slow down time and have to shoot enemies, after which they speed off dead on their bikes for another 16 miles up the road until they explode an hour later. All while you're still stuck in the slow mo mo. For fuck's sake. Dead End serves as a hub 
for you in between missions where you can walk around, you can sell your drugs that you picked off dead bodies for cash, even though all of them are the same, just with different names. You can go to an army truck to buy weapons and skills. And there's a garage where you can customize your bike with a fine amount of pieces. Probably the only thing in this game that doesn't immediately make you vomit. You can upgrade your bike. Woohoo! For the worst driving I've ever seen. Yay. The game feels unfinished. In addition, there is no menu music in any of the menus. ghost town of Dead End seems as if it was originally supposed to be that open world for you to explore, but there was no point. You just run between those three interest points, then go back to your bike and slam your head against the wall some more. Sounds like a classic, alright. And I do so enjoy classic. Entire sections and interiors have been created just to use for a half second pointless bit. It's like they had run out of money or they just realized they didn't have the fucking talent to do this and just said, fuck it, fuck it, it's too hard. Force it into boring, long, linear shooting galleries with racing sections connecting them. Oh yeah, and put a loading screen in every 30 seconds just to piss them off. Oh, and you're a biker, so of course you get to go to a strip club. Yay, titties! At some point to see some, some really poorly done strip dances, okay? And, of course, kill people. In quite possibly the most insulting, most awkward thing I have ever played in a video game, Ride to Hell has plenty of sex but it handles it in a way that even the 12 year old who edited this script felt embarrassed by what they came up with. It is pathetic, it is juvenile, its approach to sex makes hot coffee look like Shakespeare. I'm not fucking kidding. I have seen roses damasked red and white, but no such roses see I in her cheeks. And in some perfumes is there more delight than in the breath that from my mistress reeks. Girls in this game are essentially limited to slutty power-ups. Find them getting beaten or about to be raped in an alley, and if you save them, they immediately have sex with your ass. Not later, not after some period of time or character development, but immediate sex. He's mine. Don't you forget that. Because yeah, that's totally what a girl wants to do. She wants to suck your dick after she's been sexually assaulted in an alley. That is disgusting, awkward, tone deaf, shameful, wrong, juvenile, dirty, creepy, insulting, and it's just plain fucking stupid. Fight a bunch of dudes trying to rape a girl, beat up her husband, then she will have sex with you. Rinse and repeat like seven or eight fucking times in this game. All with similar looking character models and all fully clothed like two rag dolls rubbing up against each other in the most unsettling display ever. How old were the people that wrote this shit? Seriously. Thank you. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't come along. Uh, sh sure thing. Is there anything I can do to show my gratitude? 
Well, I could use a drink. Come on now. I'm sure you could use something more than that. Idiot! Logic rules here. At one point in the story, Jake is faced with an electric fence. Holy mother of God! I'm at Colt's ranch. Fence is electrified, Mac. Shit. Any ideas? A few. Keep an ear to the ground. I hope you know what you're doing. Not the fence! Fence. Fence. So what does he do about, to get past this? Does he clip a few wires, maybe short the system, maybe go around? No! He goes across the street to murder some innocent truckers, steals a Mack truck, drives it half across town while ramming and murdering at least 27 police officers. then parks it outside an electric plant, okay? Then he murders everyone inside. <laughs> Going deep within the plant, only to shoot the tanker from a vantage point from within the plant so that it somehow explodes, creating a domino effect, exploding the whole entire plant jumping over a river, the explosives jump over a river, so that this side of the plant is exploded, so that it explodes behind him and he can leap into the water as the explosion barely misses him. That's how Jay deals with a fucking fence. That is so fucking insane. It's, it's too funny. It's funny. It's a fucking shame. The whole thing is torture to play. Otherwise, it sounds like it's over-the-top parody fun. Trust me, it's not. It's just plain fucking stupid. You rotten son of a bitch! The cutscenes are disjointed, constantly cut off and poorly conceived. AI is so stupid, it hurts to watch it. Unable to go through open doors or use cover to save their sorry asses. The game has horrendous controls, awful camera troubles that are even worse indoors. Command prompts urge you forward because the game does such a poor job of telling you itself where to go and what your objective is. Tool tips constantly harass you without a way to turn them off. This game has some of the worst, most repetitive music. The kind of soundtrack, this kind of soundtrack really affirms why I point out good soundtracks in other games. Absolutely mind-numbingly dreadful. turn it off completely. It's not even the type of game where you can get together with your friends, pop a couple beers and laugh at it because that would wear off in like five minutes. Everything is so repetitive, so boring, so sickening. And the game is much longer than it has any right to be. Mission after mission, a baby shat! You don't give a rat's ass about any of the side characters. You don't even give a shit about yourself. Garbage. It's functional garbage. Whereas Sonic Freeriders and Mindjack had major glitz glitches and sometimes just didn't outright work, retribution functions. And that is probably the worst thing. This is a legal means of torture. The pleasure's been all mine. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this shit! Fuck this garbage ass shit! I played 21 hours of this trying to find something worth anything. No way. No way. 
I have to do my part to fucking stop this. This is the type of corporate bullshit that they release anyway to make up their money, punishing everybody who is ignorant enough to buy it. What? What is this? You should not be angry. You should be sad. No. No, stop. They couldn't have possibly known unless it was reviews that told them. And they didn't hand out review copies for anybody. No! Ah, fuck this game! It's a piece of shit! Nobody play it! Nobody play this fucking game! Fuck Retribution and it's stupid fucking ass! I will fucking murder it! I'll stab it! I'll kill it! I'll eat its children! Well, I guess it's all better now. Try to bring him some Gatorade and beef jerky? Doesn't appreciate shit. Anyways, I always want to do this. See you guys on the next- FUCK THAT! STOP WHAT YOU'RE DOING, Joe! NO! DON'T YOU DO IT! THE FINAL VERDICT FOR THIS TRAVESTY, THIS ABOMINATION- DON'T GIVE IT A FINAL VERDICT! NO! PLEASE! DON'T! NO! IT'S A MOTHERFUCKING ONE OUT OF TEN! WHAT THE FUCK LEVELS? RIDE TO HELL RETRIBUTION IS A MOTHERFUCKING EPIC FAIL! It earns its 1 out of 10 because it's complete disregard for human safety and it's insulting expectations of spinning off two more games. Nearly unplayable, not because of its bugs or glitches or flawed concepts, but because of how bad the gameplay actually is. Gameplay functions, but its sole function is to hurt your soul. There's not a single aspect of gameplay this game doesn't fuck up. From its pointless fist fighting, its awful QTE filled driving mechanics, to its creepy ass sex scenes within a painfully long and dull storyline. This is one of the worst video games I've ever played. The 1% in this game's title refers to its overall worth and the number of sane individuals who make it out alive. Better games have been canned and never released. This thing has nothing to offer anyone! Please! No! My work! Anywhere! And this is the final nail in its coffin and a recorded place in history for anyone with morbid curiosity. No! That's fucking you! It's fucking done! I am exercise! Never send a B teamer to do a super villain's job! <laughs> you idiot! Now I have to clean up your mess! Uh, let's see. It's time, I believe. Hello? Yes! Agent M! Uh, yes, sir. Release Project K2.0! Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, I I know. Oh, yes, sir, but, uh... What? It's not ready yet. Yes, I know it's not ready! Just push it out the door! Hurry up! Before Sony gets out their console! What if the console red rings, sir? I don't care! Yes, sir, but uh, there's a small chance we have the red ring situation again. Well, then just simply do not put the red light indicator! Oh, good idea, sir. Yes! Right, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Idiots! Okay, bye. God! <laughs> Soon, Joe, you will meet your match! <laughs> Yes? Hola, ¿cómo?
vas a no, oh, I, I don't don't mucho dinero. No, no, I don't speak Spanish. No, no, no entiendes. Oh, God, no. Fucking tell him I'm gonna 